Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a Valentine's inspired soap using this fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus, Black Cherry. Oh, this smells good. It definitely is a strong cherry scent with just a hint of like orange, a little almond, and maybe even a touch of cinnamon. It's good. <laughs> I was thinking of a box of chocolates. Um, and so for the soap design, let's talk about that. I have these little heart column molds I got on Amazon and I will leave a link down below. I'm going to pour some heart molds and then I also have some, these are Wilton little rosebud flower molds and then these I got on Amazon, just some random flowers. And so we're going to pour all of these embeds. So it's a two day process. I got to get the hearts and the flowers poured and then the next day we'll make the body of the soap and then here's the colors that I'll be using. Um, I have this rosebud mica from Be Scented which is so pretty and then I have a purple galaxy mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus and of course I've got to do my trial by fire from Nurture Soap which is my go-to red. Just gorgeous. It's the perfect red. So we're going to do these colors together kind of swirly in the body and then the hearts and the flowers will be some I haven't figured out some combination of those colors and I showed you the color I showed you the embeds I think that's it so I've got to get everything pulled together and get ready to make our embeds on day one and then we'll come back and put it all together on day two I'm not sure what I want to call this maybe hearts and flowers or something I, I just the black cherry fragrance made me think of chocolate covered cherries which made me think of valentine's and the whole snowball started rolling um we'll think of a name for it after maybe we get a look at it so let me get everything pulled together and let's come back and make some valentine's inspired soap okay i am ready to make my soap embed soap here i've got the lye solution ready the oils and butters all ready and i will leave the recipe for this soap that I'm doing right now, I'll leave it down in the description box below in percentage form. I'm making about a three and a half pound batch right now because I have two different sets of embeds to make. Um, so I'm gonna have to kind of proceed here. Uh, I'm, I'm just pouring all my embeds, but right now I'm ready to pour the moon embeds. It's gonna be the first one that I pour. And then after I get that done, I'm gonna be pouring my heart embeds. And then I have some flower molds off to the side. So I've got a lot of embeds to go. That's why I chose the size that I did, but um, I will leave this recipe in percentage for you down below. But for right now, here's my lye solution um, that just has some cane sugar and sodium lactate in here. And the sodium lactate really helps unmolding little intricate molds like this. The sodium lactate really helps when you come comes time to unmold tomorrow. So I really like it in there. Uh, if you don't have sodium lactate, you can use regular salt at a rate of one teaspoon per pound of oils. You dissolve the salt in your water, make a salt water solution. That also helps harden your soap up. So there's a tip for you. Um, but right now I'm gonna get this mixed in here and just come up to an emulsion, a very light trace, because I've got a lot of pouring to do. I have two different fragrances to work with. Um, lots of fiddly business here, so I wanna move very slowly as I go through here. So we're just gonna come up to an emulsion, make sure everything's blended perfectly, and we'll get to the moon portion first. And then we'll get on to our hearts and flowers, and I have three colors for those, so yeah, I definitely don't want things speeding up on me. It's actually been several days since I poured these embeds. Uh, they have a little bit of soda ash on the back side here, but when I unmold them, we'll see how they look on the other side. I have a feeling it's gonna be just fine, and the this will be the side that's down in the soap, so you won't see it. Yep, look at those beautiful colors. So that is the soda ash side, which is gonna be down, so you won't see that. And look how pretty, I'm so happy. Just got busy in the studio and I didn't have time to come and unmold these. So it has been a little bit since I made these, which makes unmolding very easy. And I had some extra batter, so I made these hearts, you know, kind of went with the whole hearts and flowers theme. Aren't those beautiful? I think these make such cute guest soaps. I love them. 
So let me, uh, these are all the little ones. Okay, I'll show you some teeny ones and then we'll get to the actual column molds, which is why <laughs> the original reason I made this. Look at these tiny little flowers. Aren't those just adorable? Let's see. And again, having waited several days does make unmolding easier. I think these are so pretty. So let me just set these off to the side and let's get to these column molds here. Had a little oopsie spillage and uh, I had thought I was filming pouring these and <laughs> I, you know, have my gloves on when I'm working and I thought I hit the record button on my iPad up there that I record with and I didn't. So I did not film the pouring of these. I was so sad when I got done and looked at the camera and saw that it wasn't recording. I'm like, oh no, that was really disappointing for me. But look how cool this is going to be. I think these are going to be so cute that in the pot swirl. So each heart in the soap is going to look a little different but look how easy those unmold if you're just patient with cold process embeds and just give them several days they unmold really nice has a little i'll just do a little bit of cleanup here i probably didn't have my mold sealed all the way and then i need to measure my soap mold and cut these so that they are the correct length to go in this beautiful soap so now i'm just going to get all the rest of these unmolded and we'll come back and make some hearts and flowers soap back and it's time for soap additives and uh, I've decided to do heavy cream powder and buttermilk in this because this is such a lovely decadent foodie scent and I was thinking of chocolates and so the creaminess made me think of that so we will be doing two tablespoons each uh, and of course my kale and clay and colloidal oats but the two tablespoons each of these will go in this is the buttermilk powder and it just makes such a pretty lather. I tell you what, milk powders in your soap is a beautiful additive, I think. So two tablespoons of the heavy cream powder. And now the oats and the clay. And I'm gonna get these all blended in and let them sort of absorb in the oils and um, just fully hydrate in there before we mix our lye solution in. So let's get that blended. All right, we are back with the lye solution here. All of the additives are well and blended in and incorporated. And I decided to add another Thing here once I get all the embeds down on top um, I have my evergreen mica from Brambleberry which is just a beautiful beautiful green and my Atika 67 leaf tip and so I will be piping some leaves just to fill in any gaps between the embeds on top so I have that all set up off to the side and now Let's get to our lye solution. Okay, here is our lye solution. Uh, oh, and by the way, the fragrance is already in here because it is a very slow mover. It's just wonderful to work with. So this does have uh, cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate going on in the pot. So we'll get this up to a nice emulsion, light trace, and split off for our colors and all the good stuff. And I am planning on uh, getting the colors poured down in the mold and then doing my hanger swirl, and then I will sink my little column mold hearts down in there after I've done my hanger swirl.
it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours. I did put a blanket over this, so this went through gel phase last night. And look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? I'm just tickled with how this came out. I love the little embeds and the leaves. I cannot wait to get in here and see how the column embeds came out with that hanger swirl. So let's get to it and see what we've got going on the inside. back with the lovely Olga and I am so excited to get in here and see how this looks on the inside. I'm just loving the colors. So here we go. Um, let me talk about the fragrance for a second. This uh, black cherry is very strong in a, in a good way. Uh, if you like maraschino cherries or chocolate covered cherries, you are going to love this fragrance and it, it was a super slow mover. So lots of time to work. Oh, that's like an explosion. The heart doesn't pop that much. It really blends in. I was hoping it would stand out more. But that's really pretty. So yeah, this fragrance, it's a winner. If you like cherries and want a slow moving fragrance, this one's a keeper. Let's keep going here and see if those hearts pop. Yeah, it got really lost in the colors. You can see it, but I was really hoping they'd stand out more. Her. Keep going. Maybe some of these will pop. I do think they're cute though. It's kind of subtle. It's like a little surprise in here and the hanger swirl is beautiful. I think we will have some soapy patterns for sure. Oh, I'm happy. I think these are beautiful. These would make a wonderful Valentine's gift. I love Valentine's Day. My husband's birthday is the day before Valentine's Day. So I always think of lovey-dovey things when I think of Valentine's Day because he's my lovey-dovey. <laughs> Crazy about that guy. Oh yeah, I'm just really surprised the hearts are so lost in here. I really wanted them to stand out a little more, but you can definitely see them. It's subtle. I thought it was going to be like really a pop and it's not. It's more subtle, but those swirls. Hello. All right, let's keep going and see how the other loaves came out. All right, let's get into the center loaf here. I love how that top came out. Those little embeds are so cute. So tell me, do you make a big deal out of Valentine's Day? Uh, do you have a sweetheart? Do you give Valentine's to your children or your family? How do you handle Valentine's? Oh, there it is again. You can see the heart, but it's really lost in the swirls. Um, I used to love dark chocolate. I don't eat sugar anymore uh, for about almost a year now so i like flowers yeah that's a way to my heart i love flowers i love living plants too oh there's a heart so i love cut flowers but i also love potted flowers that you know will live and you can keep them going except i don't really have a green thumb so i need sturdy flowers that are very um hardy and abuse friendly because i am not a green thumb at all but do you like flowers or chocolates or Valentine's cards. Sometimes they're so corny, they're hilarious. I love, uh, I have a hard time picking out a birthday card for my husband because it's right around Valentine's Day and um, everything's Valentine's cards. And so it's hard to find a, a birthday card during that season, but we manage. Oh, that's busy. Pretty swirls though, but yeah, those hearts really got lost in translation there. I wish they had popped out a little more, but I do, still think they're lovely and i really like the color combo on this all right last loaf and this has some of those teeny tiny little flowers on top i love that so cute they're making me happy and this fragrance is very as i'm cutting this it's just blossoming in the studio it really does smell like cherries in here <laughs> 
So again, if you're a cherry fan, this one's right up your alley. Let's see if we have a soapy pattern to do here, just for fun. Let's do it this way. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, we're gonna have some patterns at the end. Well, I'm gonna let these sit for several hours and get dry on the surface before I come in and bevel and stamp like I do. And I do thank you for joining me today. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. And I'll leave a comment down below. I read them all. I try to respond to them all. I really do. So, and I appreciate you taking the time when you take the time to watch the video and comment. I, I'm so thankful for that. So thank you. And uh, thanks for joining me today. And I hope that you have a really wonderful day.